A wraparound pass is used where there's defensive pressure on the basketball, and I actually want to step around my defender and wrap the basketball around their body to an open teammate. Okay, so now, right now, we'll have George on offense along with myself, and Sammy will be on defense. So now George is open, and Sammy is doing a good job of applying ball pressure. The way we make a wraparound pass is I want to step, as Sammy applies ball pressure, I want to step around Sammy's leg, okay? And wrap the ball around my body and around his body in this type of motion. So I want to wrap the ball around him, where now I'm feeding my teammate. Okay, so I'll do that one more time. The defense is here, and as I'm dribbling the basketball, or I have it in triple threat, I'm going to come from this motion, I'm handling the ball, step around, and pass, okay? We'll go the opposite way as well, where now George is on offense on the right side. So now what I'll do is I'll step across. What I always want to do is I want to step across with my right leg on this side because it's very important to lock or seal this defender so now as I wrap it around, he cannot steal the ball as easily as opposed to this. If I step with this leg, I'm still allowing the defender to have access to the basketball while stepping around. So I'm not necessarily sealing him off of the ball. So again, it's very important. I want to step with this leg and I can wrap around with my left hand and then we'll go to the opposite side one more time. I'm on this side, I'll step around with this leg and wrap the ball around that way. That's how you make a wraparound pass.